hey my youtube loves welcome back to my channel um today i filmed this super glam look for you guys and i used like 95 percent affordable products this is like a for me this is like an ultra glam um flash proof picture proof photo approved um i used the nyx glitter this is the number i think it's number three no number eight just kidding i use the one and only rose in the air and that's it this is the only thing on my eyes with the exception of the glitter and i just think i'm in love with it i think it's like over the top at a not over the top price um, thanks so much for watching and if you if you like this look just go ahead and um keep on watching Bye guys. Please excuse the lawn mowers in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's out of my control. I don't have the schedule of the when everybody else gets their yard done. I only know when I do to get started. Let's put some lip balm. This is the Milani. Keep it smooth. I don't think it's a treatment. Um but it does moisturize. So to get started, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer. And this is new-ish. Um, for foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which comes in like a little spatula. Concealing. I'm using the Essence Pink Pastel Pink and the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just taking a little blending brush. taking the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. Taking a domed brush. This is a Morphe G2. I'm going to start on the outside and bring it towards the inside. And you guys can see. Can you guys see how this side just like smoothed out? And like you can still see some texture on this side. This side. You have it. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Focus Powder. Let's move on to brows. And for my brows, I'm using the Jordana Fabu Brow. I'm really enjoying this brow pencil. It is a pencil and it's just, I don't know. I've just really been giving it a go to see you know how I like it and so as you guys can see it's always this kind of like harsh the pencils very waxy but then I just brush through and I feel like 
I'm good. And so I'm just using the Wet n Wild concealer because I just like the shade of this and with my little flat brush go ahead and clean up the brows. <laughs> I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I swear one day I'm gonna buy another primer. It's just, this one works and it's just easy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it with our Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. I'm going to be using Wet n Wild in Rose in the end. I'm just going to take this transition shade right there. This is like the warmer, the warmer transition shade. As you can see, these, this is like pigment nation. So now I'm going to go in with this color right here. It, it does have a lot of kick up. But the color payoff is good. So I'm just going over. And kind of bringing this all over the lid, I guess. I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit more. I'm just using a little pencil brush and I'm going in with this. It's the darkest shade in the palette. This super dark brown. And I'm just gonna start placing this on the outside corner. and use this Wet n Wild concealer to cut the crease. champagne color right here a little flat shader brush here <laughs> taking also that small pencil brush we can also use that to blend in just by like, you know, creating more of a gradient effect. I'm gonna be adding some pizzazz. Um, and for the pizzazz, we're gonna be taking some NYX glitter glue and some NYX glitter. This is in the number eight. And now I'm gonna begin to brush this 
all over the land. We're gonna pick up our glitter. And now we're gonna pack it on very carefully. Now this is not like a very fine glitter, it's definitely a bit chunkier, so be aware of that. Today we're going to be using a gel liner. And I'm using the IT brush, which is a very, very, very thin, and the Wet n Wild cream eyeliner in Carbon My Reach. To highlight my brow bone. I'm just going back into that same palette. I'm taking this little cream color right here and I'm just applying that right underneath the brow bone. Bam. I wanted to talk about this guy. Um, I've been using this contour shade and it's kind of good. This contour shade doesn't have any shimmer. It doesn't have any anything it doesn't have anything this contour shade doesn't have anything it's just it's a really nice neutral tone <laughs> Profusion Highlight and Contour. This is a very powdery, powdery product. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wet my brush. And this is just the e.l.f. Primer Mist, which I don't use as primer mist, but I like to use to wet my brushes. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Impulse. goodness I've been spraying my laptop ah there we go because I can feel it now the brush is feeling wet and it's like a frosted curl my lashes and I'm gonna use the the volume stylist I'm gonna be using these lashes they're the Couture Foam Mink. These are in the shade Midnight. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm using NYX Emerald City, which is a green. I think it'll just give me a little bit of an edge to the look. But you can always go with a black liner, or you can even go with a, with a brown liner. I just feel like the green stands out a bit more and kind of gives it a little bit more and then with my little pencil liner I'm gonna go ahead and just blend a bit down here with like a semi flat brush I'm gonna go into that warm color here this is the orange and I'm also at that been absolutely loving this lip liner. It's the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Stockholm. I'm going to 
show you two lipsticks one that is a drugstore and another that is affordable but you got to get it online so this is the milani in matte view and it's very warm nude color <laughs> And this one's very matte. And this is more what I want. So this is the final look. I set it with Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And like I said, I ended up using What's Your Sign, which is the ColourPop, the ColourPop Kathleen Lights collab. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.